that we had Britt Baker and Saray doing their face-to-face. This was great. This was the best women's segment they've had in I don't know how long. So first, Saray announces that uh, she's I, been I, taken. I, I, I agree with you, on except for one thing, and it was that, that thing that I hate on AEW television, which is when someone comes in and Punk did this, and, you know, they go and cut their promo, and everything about their promo is WWE is so superior to AEW, and it's on AEW television. Like, Britt was great, and Soraya was great, too, except it's like when the thing was over, it's just, it's just like, you know, I, you know, you're not, you, you know, here Britt, who has been the biggest woman star in this company since it started, and she's basically saying, you're not even a star, you know, you've never done anything, you've never been anywhere, you know, you got handed, you know, um, basically Tony Khan handed you it, you know, gave gave you this, you didn't earn it, and then he just fed you QT students, you know, basically saying QT students are no, aren't no are good wrestlers, and, you know, basically saying that the women's division isn't good, that they that it means nothing to hold the championship, and I just thought that that is so counterproductive. Well, she did mention a revolution, but a lot of what a lot of what she said here was was talking about how Brit, you've been doing this for three years. I've been doing this, you know, since I was a child, and I I wrestled after well, being hit fine. by a car. That's I fine. wrestled that's... all over England. I've wrestled in the Tokyo Dome. She's never wrestled in the Tokyo Dome. Well, she said the Tokyo Dome, but she the point say, is, she 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 did make Dome. one a, a couple of comments specifically referencing WWE, and it was stupid to say you don't know how to be a superstar. You don't even know how to be a star. But yeah, she, uh, here, she, here, she's the biggest woman star in the company, and she's telling her that you're not even a star. Yes, that was a that was a. But the reason I mean, she brought up was superstars a, it, is because Britt was talking about how we are women's wrestlers here in AEW, and uh, this division is not for superstars. Yeah. And so that's why Soraya did the line about how you're not a superstar, you're not even a star. Which, of course, is a stupid line. But that's a but, stupid line. Yeah, but she this delivered. was not I will, all I, I, putting I over say, WWE. She was putting over that she was a longtime veteran who had been doing this for her whole life all over. And Britt had been here for three years. But but when you start shooting Madison Square Garden, that means WWE. You've never been to Madison Square Garden. You've never been to, um, what was it, the O2. And you've never, you know, main evented, you know, or whatever. You never wrestled the Tokyo Dome. That's like the line, you know. And it, it, you know, that's totally that's the stuff CM Punk did when he was doing those promos. Not the one, not the one on Adam Page at the, um, uh, what you know, in the press conference. But some of the promos that he would do, where it's so clear that in his mind, you know, what happens there is so much bigger and more important than what happens here. And that's fine and well and good if you believe it. And I'm not even arguing that they're wrong. Um, because WWE is the bigger promotion, but I don't want to. When I watch AEW television, I do not want somebody to say, "Oh, you're not a star because you've never been in Madison Square Garden." It's like that's like so counterproductive. It's basically telling, "Hey, you're in the you know this is the secondary promotion. You never you know." And it's like you don't you know on your own TV saying that you're the secondary promotion. I mean you know never should happen, and they do it. And it happens all the time. I mean, like someone should have just said, look, we just got rid of a guy who was, you know, I mean, one of the big problems. And and again, you know, it's, it's, it's like when people come from WWE and see this as a step down and what WWE is, is a step above, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a recipe for, potential problems down the line i'm not saying she's going to be a problem hopefully she won't be a problem at all but um i'm not a fan of these promos on this tv you know if you say it on a podcast it's different if you say it you know different situation but you know i mean she should not be basically saying that brit's never done anything and she's been handed everything because let's face it everyone that's had anything. I mean, look in WWE, everyone's been handed it too. You know, I mean, it's like, do, do they? Did she come back and just go like, "Oh, Vince McMahon handed you everything"? You know what I mean? I mean, what's the difference? I mean, what is the difference? Well, it opened up here with uh, Soraya noting that, in fact, she has been one hundred percent cleared, and she breaks down. She's crying, and then Britt says, "You know what?" I want to make it clear that uh, you sitting here talking about how this is your house, 
I built this AEW's women's division for wrestlers, and then superstars like you came in. And you have the audacity to call this place your house. You never laid a single brick. You're jealous of me. You left your old house to walk into mine. And we don't take walk-ins. Bitch, make an appointment. And this, these fans went that was, crazy. That, that Total babyface promo line. here by Britt Baker to these fans. Yeah, yeah, fans. The, people, the people were behind B- Baker when she, when she was defending AEW, yes. So then Soraya said, you know, you're given your position by Tony Khan. You were fed trainees. You've been doing this three years. She says, I have been doing this for 17 years. Hit by a car. Wrestled the same day. Wrestled everywhere. Been embarrassed publicly. I battled my drug addiction publicly. I've given my neck, my body to this business. And she says, it's going to be another opportunity handed to you because this is going to be the biggest match of your career. It's me and you at full gear. So the match is on. Britt goes after her. Soraya hits her with uh, the rampage and lays her out. And uh, I thought that promo-wise, these two... It was good. Fantastic. Delivery-wise, delivery wise, delivery wise, they were both great. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a very, very strong, um, you know, very, very strong performance by both of them as far as, like, the, you know, and the crowd was into it. You know, they were they were definitely not into Paige or into um, Soraya. Soraya. Um, at first, but I think the line about, you know, um, being hit by a car and wrestling the same day kind of was, oh, wow, you kind of like pretty Well, dedicated. she's used that one before. I just think it was the entire the entire promo and the passion that she actually had in this promo. Yeah. I mean, this was the most passionate promo she's cut in this company by miles. Yeah. And, uh, oh, it, was, it was her best promo by far. Yes. We had... Um, uh, it's going to be real interesting, though, because, uh, you know, the thing with AEW is, is like... Uh, you know, especially on a pay per view, it's like you have to be really good. I mean, like just normal good isn't good enough in AEW, um, and it's going to be. You know, I mean, like the promo was great and everything, but now you now you have to live up to that promo. And um, some people do, and some people don't. And um, you know, the onus is on both of them in this one because they did this promo and they made it a match that people really you know should be excited about. But now they have to be able to deliver a match at the level of their promo and um you know we'll see what part do you love about this job granny nothing when you when you irritate me <laughs> you make me mad i i guess seeing you seeing you guys when you week. needle me quit yeah. talking over me sorry if granny this person asks could leave only one thing in her will for brian <laughs> 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 what would it be <laughs> Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, ah, forget yeah. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.